Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Coffee with Cliff. My name is Cliff Dubinois, and these are the stories of my journey to get 1% better every day across the areas of mind, body, business, and relationships. I missed you guys. Today's episode is called What's Really Important. We're completely covered by rules, by systems, and these rules were put in place by someone, and maybe at the beginning, those rules served some kind of a useful purpose. But what if those rules don't apply to you? Well, there I am. I'm in corporate America. And every year we had to fill out a sheet that listed our goals. And every year I would always set really lofty goals, big things that I wanted to accomplish. And every year I would kill myself to meet those goals. At the end of the year, I'd check the box next to, did you accomplish your goals? I would review it with my boss he would say, Cliff, you did a great job on your goals this year. Here's your 3% pay raise. Well, I'll try not to spend it all in one place. Well, after eight or nine years of doing this, I noticed that the people around me were getting the exact same pay raise that I was, but they weren't doing anything lofty or difficult. So as an experiment, one year, I actually wrote down that I would learn Microsoft Word. Now, I'd been using Word for 10 years. I knew it already. But this was an experiment. Now, my boss, he loved this thing called SMART, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time frame. So I had to actually prove that I achieved my goals. So how do I prove that? Well, the company had a training website, and every video that I watched was tracked. So I registered for the beginning, intermediate, advanced, and expert videos. Every morning for about 15 minutes, I sat down with my cup of coffee, and I clicked play on the new video. Welcome to the Microsoft Word training series. Word is spelled W-O-R-D. Can you say word? Oh, man, I wanted to slip some whiskey in my coffee so bad. But I endured. Every day, day after day, I watched all the videos. And at the end of the year, I would check the box next to, did you accomplish your goals? During my performance review, my manager said to me, Cliff, you did a great job on your goals this year. Here's your 3% pay raise. Well, I'll try not to spend it all in one place. But you know what? He really didn't care about my goals. What he cared about was that he could take all of our results and show his boss that his employees had improved. And his boss would say, you did a great job with your employees this year. Here's your 5% pay raise. Well, because they really didn't care, I really didn't care. Because culture flows downhill. But that was the system. Those were the rules that were put in place. And like good little employees, they followed those rules. A set of rules where mediocrity was rewarded exactly the same as stellar performance. And when I left that environment, I vowed that my business would not operate like that. The focus would be on improving the person because I believe that improvement starts from within. You can't quantify that. So when someone says to me, your article on Facebook really made me think, or it inspired me, or because of your post, I reached out to my sister I haven't spoken to in years. How do you put that into a checkbox? Well, for my journey for improvement, I'm not the same person I was two years ago, and I'm not the same person that I was a year ago. I've improved all the way around. It's the 1% journey. Do something every day to make Cliff better. And those rules, that system, well... Sometimes you have to do something wrong in order to do something right. Sometimes it takes the unimportant to reveal what's really important. And pursuing the important is better than blindly following rules. This has been Coffee with Cliff. Thank you for listening.